Hello, this is Hakadabin, and I'm here with SCP-85, also known as Hand Drawn Cassidy or Cassie. I can't quite remember. Let me double check. Oh, it's Cassie. Let's begin. Item number SCP-85. Object class safe. Special Consumer Procedures. Revise on a date. SCP-85 is to be contained in a single chalk white belt on the drawing pad in a secure air containment facility. Supervised contact with SCP-85 is unrestricted to all personnel with level 2 access. All personnel coming into contact with SCP-85 are subject to searches and random psych analysis upon entering or leaving the containment area. Absolutely no paper or canvas media are allowed to be are allowed to exit SCP 85's containment room. Any paper or trash must be disposed of by incineration after careful airful inspection. Paper and art supplies are to be brought in and only by authorized personnel. In case of fire, flame, items are smothered are using a rapid atmospheric replacement and CO2 dumping system. Personnel are advised to Quickly secure an oxygen mask and tank from the wall at the first sign of smoke or fire to prevent asphyxiation. Description SCP-85 is a result of an experiment conducted between SCP-67, which if you remember correctly, 67 was the artist's pen, and 914. 914 being, I think, the machine that makes things, things better and or worse versions of themselves. Test subject 1101F drew a single female figure about 15 centimeters 6 inches in height and 3.8 centimeters 1.5 inches in, in width. In summer dress with long hair pulled back with a ponytail, with the name Cassandra written underneath. Dr. Expunge proposed using 914 on various settings on images created by SCP-67. Using the find setting, the Cassandra sketch was transmuted into her, into her present form, a sentient black and white animated young woman drawn in clean strokes. Other attempts to duplicate this result have been unsuccessful. SCP-85 refers to be called Cassie. She is completely sentient and as a blank aware of her 2D form and her limitations in a three-dimensional world. Although her voice is inaudible, she has learned to communicate with SCP Foundation through sign language and writing. SCP-85 may be communicated with by writing text on the paper she exists on. Personnel report that she is amicable and motivated, albeit lonely. SCP-85 can interact with any drawn object on the same page as if it were real. For example, she is able to wear drawn clothing, drive sketched cars, and drink painted beverages. Except for animals and people, any drawn object becomes animated when in contact with SCP-85. But immediately acts, but immediately ceases in holds position and sends out of contact. While we're initially depicted as in motion, such as ocean waves and swaying trees, and made it to an equilibrium straight and say it as until acted upon by SCP-85. SCP-85 has also demonstrated the ability to transfer from one sheet or, or image to another, as long as the two are flush. In the event SCP-85 ent SCP enters a picture that does not support drawn objects as a repeating pattern, the picture is converted to a background image. SV-8585 is a picture er, as an endless plane of the image drawn upon it. At the present time, SCP-85 can only exist upon paper or canvas services. SCP-85 cannot transfer onto photos, cardboard, or glass or parchment. When entering other pieces of art, SCP-85 takes on the artistic style of her new environment, whether it be a, a comic book, an oil painting, watercolor, or charcoal etching. Note in comic like form her voice is visible at stock on the voice bubbles around her, her head in typical comic fashion. As she moves between panels, also perspective and her relative size are, are altered appropriately. 
Document 85-1. Introduction to several prints authored by M.C. Escher. Researcher. Cassandra, this is known as ascending and descending. What do you think? This point, SV-85 walks a few times around its staircase. It's pretty, I guess. Would make a neat exercise track. You see nothing inconsistent with the staircase? No, as far as I could tell, it just loops up and down all the time. But a lot more staircases do that. It's pretty neat. After the session, SV-85 requests several impossible objects in her own environment. These requests are pending O5 and review. Document 85-2, Incident 85-A. <sighs> Prior to an undisclosed date, SCP-85 was unaware of its status as a two-dimensional object in a three-dimensional world. Prior security protocols required that SCP-85 be kept unaware of its true nature in order to prevent psychological distress. The discrepancies with the perceived real world were presented as dreams or nightmares, and an effort was made to present, present SCP-85 with a scenario in which it was the last surviving human in a post-apocalyptic world. I cannot say that word right now. Searching for survivors. The deception was quickly broken following an incident where an SCP Foundation researcher accidentally brought a hard copy of SCP-85 Special Containment Procedures Report into the containment facility and allowed it to contact the artifact's current location. SCP-85 transferred it onto the document before the researcher could remove it and was immediately made aware of its true nature. <sighs> Because of the containment breach, several researchers advocated immediate destruction of the artifact. The decision was appealed to the EO5 Council, which, in a blank-to-blank -blank decision, advocated for SCP-85's continued existence. Since the revelation of her true nature, observers have noted that SCP-85 has begun to show signs of clinical depression. Psychotherapy has been proposed, but the nature of the artifact's state of existence may make it difficult. So success has been and had by providing SCP-85 tangible means to distract herself from her condition. In addition to the aforementioned optical illusions, SCP-85 expressed particular interest in a set of technical drawings for a 1964 Ford Mustang convertible, just bringing the parts by one by one to a more naturalistic artwork, then assembling the vehicle by hand over the period of a year. Gasoline being provided through a Norman Rockwell, a friend of gas station attendant. Requests for further diversions of this nature are pending O5 I've low review and approval. I personally really love the idea of SCP-85. A person made from a drawing. I like to imagine what their world would uh, be like. How they would see it. An endless expanse of, of white and stuff can just be summoned in by a foreign pen. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I have. If you did, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.